See, this is why the Olympus folks are a classy outfit. Uh, they sent me the uh, Pan EP2 camera for a review. And instead of sending me some uh, some crummy uh, uh, camera from the test pool that everybody's been touching and scratching and smudging and who knows what, uh, this is a new camera, sealed inside the box, ready for me to review. Beautiful. I mean, these folks, they went all out. This is just gorgeous. So, I can't wait to review this. Let's uh, pull it out. Here we go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. Even the screen is completely sealed. Chrome accents. Love it. <laughs> the camera came with uh, an electronic viewfinder and the kit lens, which is, I believe, a 14 to 42 micro four thirds lens. And of course, everything is sealed. I mean, look, it's. So let's take this out for a bit. The electronic viewfinder came in this beautiful plush uh, um, carrying bag or uh, carrying pouch. I'm not sure what to call it, but it's a uh, great texture. Closes with a Velcro and even has a little strap so you can attach it to something. Very neat. Now to attach the camera to the, um, I mean the viewfinder to the camera, you simply slide this out. You'll have to excuse my fingers. I've been working outside all day uh, assembling a garden shed. By the way, I'll post a, a how-to video for that as well at some point on my website, so stay tuned for that. But to attach the viewfinder, you simply slide this out. I have to do it with one hand because I'm filming with the other. Just a second. You simply slide it out. It reveals the contacts for the flash. And this is the electronic viewfinder. See? It's very neat. It's the VF2, and that's the button that turns it on. This is the focusing ring here, so you simply rotate this, you see, to adjust the focus. And the cap is here that reveals the contact, so I have to keep doing this with one hand, but uh, there we go. Comes off, and it has no flash contact, but that single point there, because it's not, of course, it's not the flash. It does have what I believe is a mini USB or some sort of a connector that plugs into the camera. And I'll show you in just a moment where that plugs into the camera. So you see, this is the camera here. It's got the flash contact points, but what it also has is this neat little thing right here. You see it? That's the connector for the uh, viewfinder. So let's put that puppy in. All right. And I'm going to attach the viewfinder now. So I have to slide it in right there. Let's see if you can see it. So you first slide it into the hot shoe and then that guides it automatically into the mini connector. And press ever so slightly and it's in. There we go. I don't see a, a locking mechanism to keep it in so I'm hoping that it's not going to come out. <laughs> that would be a, not a good thing. But it's neat that it does pivot so that's cool. So you could actually use this sort of like a waist level viewfinder, you know, where you're looking up from above into the camera, giving you a different viewpoint as you're taking photos. That's pretty darn neat. The battery compartment and the SDHC card or the SD card compartment there. Pretty standard layout. You slide the door open and you stick them in. So that's what I'm going to do in just a second. And here's another reason why the Olympus folks are classy. They gave me, uh, they included a, uh, an SDHC card with the camera. Uh, usually with um, other cameras that I get for review, there's no included SD card. So I have to supply my own, which is no problem. I have a supply, plenty of, of each kind of sort of a flash memory card that I need. But still, it's just, a, it's a nice touch to include such a thing with the camera. So, thanks. So here's what the... Um battery and SD card compartment looks like with both of them put in. 
Here's the 14 to 42 kit lens, uh, f3.5 to 5.6 ED. It's got the blue stripe and uh, it can focus from uh, 0.82 feet to infinity. So here, let me, uh, I'm gonna take the lens cap off and put it on. You can see how, uh, how tiny the opening is. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's, no, it is a little bit smaller than uh, of that of the original 14 to 42 kit lens that came with the E500, the E520, E420, those cameras. So that's a, that's a camera's uh, uh, lens cap. And of course, that is the sensor because with the 4 thirds camera, there is no curtain. Uh, there's nothing that flaps up and down. It's just a sensor right there. Okay. Something I really love about the um, the pen is uh, the way they've made things easy to easy to format this. So they've really thought out the menu layout. Check this out. To format a card after you've used it, all you have to do is go to the menu, and there's the card setup right there. It's the first option that comes up. You don't have to go hunting. You don't have to go through like two or three menus page through them. It's right there. It's the first option that comes up. There we go. Format. And you're done. It's it's that easy. Uh, you can clearly see that uh, this was thought out uh, because after all the format option is the one that you use most often on your camera. So it, naturally, logically speaking, it should be the first one that comes up in the menu layout.